Hello, I'm Jovan Johnson. Tourism Minister Edmund Bartlett says while there is no fixed start date yet, the government is working to reopen the tourism industry between June and August. The disclosure comes as a private sector organization of Jamaica joins other interest groups in demanding a timeline for the reopening of the industry that has been shuttered because of the coronavirus pandemic. Meanwhile, the Health Ministry is reporting an increase in the number of Jamaicans confirmed with the coronavirus. Up to Monday, May 25, Jamaica had 556 confirmed COVID-19 cases with nine deaths. 238 people have recovered. A four-year-old boy told relatives at his St. Andrew home that he will not return until his mother is brought back to life. The boy, removed by his father, discovered the lifeless body of his mother last Thursday while trying to get her to answer a phone call. She was stabbed to death. At least a dozen people were left homeless Tuesday after a fire destroyed eight houses in the vicinity of Oxford Street and Pink Lane in downtown Kingston. Overseas, Amy Cooper, a white American woman who called the police after a black man, Christian Cooper, asked her to put her dog on a leash in Central Park in New York City, has been fired by her investment firm employer, Franklin Templeton. She has apologized, saying she was scared. I'm going to tell them there's an African-American man threatening my life. In sports, General Secretary of the Jamaica Football Federation, Dalton Wint, says reggae boys striker Darren Mattox, who is facing fraud charges in the U.S., is still part of the association's plans for the upcoming CONCACAF World Cup qualifiers. In your currency trading today, one US dollar was being sold for $145.11, the British pound sterling for $176.16, and the Canadian dollar for $105.82. In your weather forecast, on Wednesday morning, there will be showers across sections of northern and southeastern parishes. In the afternoon, expect widely scattered and isolated showers across central and western parishes. And that's it for the Gleaner Minute. I'm Jovan Johnson.